Hi everybody, my name is Claire Curry. I'm a science librarian here at the University of Oklahoma. Next up in our video series, Options for Remote STEM Research, we're going to be talking about using existing data sets. And we're going to start off with spatial data in this video as well as the next few videos. So first, as you consider acquiring spatial data, you'll want to consider your needs. What is your research question? Are these spatial data going to supplement it, as in a map of your study area, or are you doing a full analysis here? Once you know what kind of data you're looking for, you want to consider the scale. Are these local data? Are these national data? Are these global data? And if any particular agency may have jurisdiction. Government agencies are a common source of spatial data. You'll also want to consider if the data actually exist. Some things may be so specialized that you're the one who's going to have to create them. You'll also want to consider a few technical considerations, such as the type of data that you need, vectors, rasters, and if these terms are unfamiliar to you, please go to our research guide, guides.ou.edu slash geography, and have a look at our researcher resources for tutorials, and or make an appointment with your geography librarian, which is me, Claire Curry. So what we're going to do in the next three videos is talk about some of those common data set sources, including a lot of government agencies, how to find more specialized data sets if these common sources don't have what you need. And then if you're not already familiar with using spatial data, where to find resources on using the data that you found. The upcoming videos in the series will be announced on Twitter, as well as on the Davis listserv, libraries.ou.edu slash Davis, if you could scroll down to the listserv subscription. And then we're going to have a live Q&A for this video set, which will cover videos 7, this video, through video 10. We'll be joined by digital scholarship specialists Theo Acker and Tara Carlisle, and science librarian Brent Tweedy as well. I'll be there too, and we'll answer your spatial data questions live on Twitter during this time period. If you don't have Twitter, you can just send me an email during this time frame to have your questions answered live on Twitter. There's no registration required for this event, but you can read more about it at libraries.ou.edu slash events. You can view past videos in the series at bit.ly slash OU STEM YT. And please contact me at this email address if you have any questions or comments. Thanks for joining us and stay safe out there.